A new troop in Clash of Clans? Well, something has to be responsible for these free spells you're seeing. Let's take a closer look. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks so much for tuning into this video. I'm Bisectatron. I'll be walking you through the new troop, the Ice Golem. Coming to Clash of Clans, 15 housing space in your army camps. Available Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12. Doesn't do much damage, but has a slowing effect as it targets a defense, and once destroyed, completely freezes everything around it. Let's start with the stats, then we'll take a look at replays. First, let's start with the level 1 Golem at Town Hall 11. Not much damage, does a 4 second freeze time initially, and has about 2600 hit points, which is pretty significant. Not quite as much as Triple Giant, around 2 times what a Giant would have. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade it a few times, and you can see the stats add a little bit. You can get it maxed at level 3 at Town Hall 11, and then as you can see, once we finish that up, it will um, be able to be upgraded once more at Town Hall 12. We can get it to level 4. So at level 4, you can see, doesn't do a whole lot of damage still, but what's important is that freeze time when destroyed, that's up to 6.25 seconds. That is a long freeze, um, and also... Hit points are not bad, they're not quite as much as 3 giants considering it's 15 troop space, but it's about a little around 2 giants worth of hit points, and that's not bad with that freeze uh, effect that you're getting as a bonus for it. Plus, once it targets a defense here, it actually slows down the defense that it's targeting. So, this is not a splash, this is just to the one defense it is targeting. And you can see as we fast forward here, the cannon takes a long time to take it out. That's a max level 4 golem against a maxed cannon at Town Hall 12. And then once it dies, it has that free spell that has a solid radius. It's the same as the actual free spell, but that's pretty big for a troop that you're inserting inside the base. Okay, let's compare some hit points here. We have the golem on the right, the ice golem in the middle, and the giant on the left. You can see um, when the giant dies, the ice golem's at about half health, which illustrates my point. It has the hit points of about two giants. And then upon freezing, it can freeze both cannons. That's a pretty solid freeze radius. And of course, the actual golem is still much higher in hit points. So it's going to last quite a bit longer. Okay, let's take a look at it against some CC troops that come out. It is a great thing to have tanking in front of your kill squad because um, it, once it gets destroyed by the CC troops, it's going to freeze them. So this has a freezing effect on not only defenses, but also troops. So that is a essential part of a kill squad is being able to deal with the CC troops. The poison does some work, but not enough, and the freeze can really help with the CC. Also, look at that. Um, the spring trap can take out the ice golem if the spring trap is maxed, but it freezes even if it's been sprung off. The freeze still takes place. And look at that freeze radius here, freezing all of those defenses being placed right in the middle. Um, so that is a big radius. It's one to illustrate that further with this setup there. Okay, let's take a look at it against some air CC troops, just to kind of make sure you guys understand this part. Yes, it can freeze air troops. So think of it as like an actual free spell being placed where the ice golem is as soon as it dies. So moving right along, let's take a look at the ice golem compared with three giants. This is the equivalent army camp space, 15 housing space, and the ice golem doesn't last as long as the three giants and doesn't do nearly as much damage as them which is the only downside really, but you can see it has that freeze effect, which is why you're gonna want to have it. That is the key to this. It's a good tank, but in terms of actually how well it tanks, the Giants of course are better, and the Golem um, is better as well for uh, hit points per housing space, but it's the freeze effect that is everything. I wanted to experiment once, try and put it in the Battle Blimp. I was hoping that it would drop out first in that it would freeze the queen and help out those balloons, but unfortunately, um, the way it works, the balloons come out first, so they kind of get targeted before the ice golem, so it's not really that effective in the uh, battle blimp there. And then if you put it on a wall, of course, it's attacking the wall, not the defense, so it's not going to slow down the defense behind the wall, but the free spell can reach over the wall, as you guys might have, may have guessed. And... Let's take a look at it in the defensive CC before we move on to some replays here because this is another possible use. It's only 15 space and it can freeze whatever is attacking it. So if there's a big kill squad coming to the base and they encounter an ice golem, they're likely going to get frozen and there's a pretty big freeze radius. We'll see here with the queen who's sitting back behind these barbarians that 
Um, she's actually going to kind of step into the free spell. And yeah, that's going to hold up a kill squad for a long time. So let's go ahead and transition into a few replays that illustrate the Ice Golem further. Okay, so one thing to note, uh, these replays were recorded a little while ago, so this is not the most updated version of the Ice Golem. The numbers and its behavior is going to be a little bit different in the actual uh, update uh, Ice Golem that comes to the actual game, but these replays really illustrate it being used in an actual attack, which is why I wanted to show it as well as the numbers, as I said at the beginning of the video, are not final either. So all of this has to be taken with a grain of salt, but it's all pretty good uh, illustrations of how the Ice Golem is going to work. So here we have it in the offensive uh, army composition and the defensive CC, so Ice Golem v. Ice Golem almost. And first the one, the defensive Ice Golem freezes, then the offensive Ice Golem freezes. So like everything's frozen at once, which is really weird. But the problem is the defensive ice golem holds things up long enough and the kill squad really thins out here. So you can see that's why it's strong. Um, if you have the town hall activated, if you have infernos, eagle raining in on your troops, then all of a sudden they're frozen. There's nothing you can do. You can heal them, I suppose. You can use the warden's ability, but that's about it. And you're just kind of stuck with your troops standing there until the freeze wears off, which seems like it takes ages if you're in a kill squad moving into the base. So a lot of you people saying, oh, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, broken. Um, well, I don't know if people were saying that about Town Hall 12, but here is something that's possibly a defensive buff. Now, it's not the best uh, buff to Lalo attacks where the, the uh, CC is not even lured because the Ice Golem, of course, will only come out for ground troops. It won't come out for air troops. So I think this promotes air attacks even further at Town Hall 10, 11, 12 because people aren't going to want to deal with that Ice Golem in the CC. So that's just something to think about um, as we look at this update and how it really tends to favor air over ground um, because of this Ice Golem as well as the Bat Spell um, and the new Siege Machine, the Stone Slammer. Okay, moving along here, a few Ice Golems being used as part of the Kill Squad. The first one dies, freezes that Wizard Tower. The other one's going to move in with the rest of the kill squad. We'll fast forward a little bit. Um, I want to see this ice golem get destroyed eventually. And he's brought free freezes of his own, which is a nice touch to add to the freeze effects of the ice golem. And this ice golem is actually going to push all the way to the eagle. And I think it ends up freezing the defensive king. So if you can keep your eye on it, it's right there next to the... Uh, Siege Machine to the Wall Wrecker, and then right here the King locks on, he's going to uh, destroy it, gets a nice freeze effect on the King and on what was left of the Eagle before it got destroyed. So the Ice Golem sometimes will break at good moments, sometimes not, but if you have it out in front as your troops enter, it'll definitely do a good job freezing the defensive CC troops, which is a nice perk. Alright, so we'll fast forward through the rest of this and transition over to uh, one more attack I want to show back to Town Hall 12 this time. And this is, I believe, an example of the Ice Golem in the defensive CC again. I thought this was a really funny attack, how it worked out. You guys will see what I mean in a moment. This is basically just Sui heroes um, coming in, trying to get, I think, two air defenses, the Inferno Tower, um, the defensive CC troops. Let's get some value with these heroes before the Laloon. Very good setup by this attacker here. Um, nice test wall breakers because there was, in fact, a bomb there that would have killed all the wall breakers at once. So anyway, everything goes in. Um, he's going to use the king's ability right here, a little bit late maybe, uh, but it gets out of range of the inferno. And then two ice golems coming out. So how's this going to work out? Well, we'll, we'll see. Um, first one approaching, it's going to get taken out pretty quickly by the king and his barbarians. There's no splash to take out those barbarians really. Um, so this ice golem, as soon as the king turns and the queen locks on as well, um, able to freeze both heroes. Now, like I said, the radius, I think, is subject to change, and it has already changed a little bit, so that might not have happened, but this definitely would have happened. The queen gets frozen, but there's nothing targeting her. I mean, that was that was crazy. That will not happen most of the time. Most of the time, there will be something targeting your queen. You'll be forced to use the ability, um, so just think about that. Pretty powerful in the defensive CC. Very much promoting electron attacks, bat spells to take out the... Um, big parts of the base, heroes on the outside that don't lure the CC. So think about that in terms of where you're going to put your CC to possibly prevent Sui heroes. Lots of cool uh, things to play around with defensively, uh, given the Ice Golem being a pretty good asset in the defensive CC from what I can see, especially at Town Hall 10 and uh, Town Hall 11 probably. 
So that will do it guys, thank you for watching. Once again, to summarize, the Ice Golem takes up 15 troop space available at Town Hall 11 and then can be upgraded once more at Town Hall 12. Looks like it's going to be strong in kill squads and also in the defensive CC which can be used at pretty much any Town Hall level. And yeah, the main thing is that once it dies, it has that freezing effect. It's like a free spell was dropped, either defensively or offensively. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stick around for more videos about the update. It's coming soon. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. See you later. Bisectatron out.